For a standard normal distribution, find C, given that the probability that Z is greater than C is 0 0.7157. I think what makes this problem difficult is we kind of have to go backwards. Normally, we're given a C value. So normally, we're given this C value, and then based on that C value, we go look at our curve, and we find the area under the curve. But this time, we're not given C, and we are given instead the area under the curve. So it's kind of a backwards idea, right? Well, I'm a visual girl, and so the best way that I'm going to look at this problem is by first starting by drawing a picture. So I'm going to draw my standard normal curve with my mean right in the middle, and I'm going to interpret the information given to me. I am looking for a C value right here that corresponds to an area under the curve, where that area re is represented from all Z values greater than C. So I'm going to be shading to the right of C 71.57% of the area under the curve. If I start here at my perfect symmetry line, my mean, I know that to the right, 50% of the area under the curve is shaded, but I want 71.57%, and so that means I need to get an additional 21.57% of the area under the curve added to that. So I'm gonna approximate, I don't have an exact value here, but let's just say approximately that if I make this right here my C value, well then the area shaded under the curve larger than C, if I add in approximately 21.57%, that's going to give me a total of 71.57%. So visually, I have just an idea now where my C is located. That means my C value has to be negative because we're left of the mean, and it's not too far away from the mean. In fact, that C value is less than one standard deviation away from the mean. So that gives me even more information. What do we do now to actually calculate that value of C? I'm going to refer to my area chart. And recall, these values here in the table correspond to the area under the curve in between the mean and Z. It's this shaded bar right here. I have a corresponding shaded bar up in my picture, right here. If I happen to know the C value or the Z value that goes with this yellow bar, that's going to be the C value that actually corresponds to my picture, correct? So let's look for that value. The percentage of area shaded in that yellow bar is 0 0.2157. Let's locate that number, or as close as possible, that number in our area chart. 0 0.2157, if we search, I think I found it. This is close, right here. 0 0.21566. I think that's as close as we can get. That means that the corresponding Z value, or if we like our C value, will come from these two numbers that make that intersection point right there with the column in the row. That means that C is 0 0.57, but because we're left of the mean, it has to be negative. That tells me that if I'm looking for all the area greater than that value, it's going to correspond to 71.57%. So that means C rounded to the nearest two decimal places is 0 0.57. That's it.